So what now? We deliver first, split the bounty 50-50? No. You're going to deliver first. I've got other plans. You're working another job, aren't you? Listen, if you want my help, you better include me. You're lucky I don't kill you. I'm allowing you to tag along because you might be useful. Do as you're told, and there may be something in it for you. I suppose you have a plan? Sensible to a transmission, they'll let you land, and then they'll search the ship. So you'll drop me off in the jungles, outside the compound. I'll work my way to the canyon across from you. Try to get invited to stay. Sneak out and find a way for me to cross. They'll take your weapon, so I'll cover you from the cliff. How can you be sure Sabolto will want me to hang around after I deliver first? You'll be charming. The ravine should lead you straight to the cliff across from Sabolto's compound. Be careful. The guards patrol the jungle, and there's also some nasty creatures prowling around there. I imagine some of his guards have prices on their own heads. A few. I'll send you their mugs so you can scan for them. Yeah, but it's not really like their mugs could matter, because all grands look the same. Uh, anyway, welcome back to uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Hi, guys. And we're in the Forest Temple, huh? Yes. I like this level because instead of gray and... Oh, well, that's a record. Blue We're not even a minute in, and it's a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> that is pretty good. See? This, this level's starting out. So, um, if you missed it, we're on the planet in Malastare, and that's a Nexu, and they're the most annoying things in the world. He almost killed that bounty there. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I get it. <laughs> this could be... <laughs> they're, they're giant evil tigers that will just kill the fuck out of you. Yeah, they were in uh, episode two, right? In the very last arena bit that was retarded. Yes, yes, they were. They were in there. I remember that now. Oh, and that whole gladiator scene. Oh boy, yeah, that's that whole a lot of. Scene. Ooh, sniper rifle. Ah, we we shall see. This this level is definitely more interesting than the shit we had to sit through last level. Well, it, at least visually. Yeah, exactly. We're in a new locale. We have a new weapon, which I will be testing out at some point in the near future. Now, I could be confusing my uh, lore here, but if I recall, Malastare has a lot of excess methane in its atmosphere. I honestly couldn't tell you. Which I think is why it's so But green. you know, let's let's go with that. Sure, why not? What I do know about Malastare is that it's the home of the Dugs. Uh, Doug is what Sebulba was from episode one. Right, right, because there's lots of pod racing here. Mm-hmm. And yes, in Star Wars Bounty Hunter, there were levels. Or, I mean, in Star Wars Pod Racer, there were levels here. <laughs> Also Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and way out there is a Doug. And now he's dead. There was a Doug. <laughs> I hate Dugs. They're so retarded looking. Ah, they, they are annoying as hell, because most of the time when you see a Doug, it is either going to be a sniper or it'll have grenades. Both of which are really terrible. How do you spell that, by the way? D-U-G. Hmm. Also, assume... there's another Nexu. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. And I'm trying to hit him with my darts, but for some reason they're not working. Ow. Oh, God. Yeah, He's immune. you may be able to see, they can fuck you up. We're, we're going to get to see a lot more of that. Let's just say there's a reason I'm saving the uh, instant death darts for them. But now we have some mooks, and I have some high explosives. Hey, that actually worked. I think I've finally gotten the hang of thermal detonators. Watch this. Watch this, Ma! One hand! <laughs> I, I beamed him on the head with that thermal detonator. I'm so proud of myself. So are your folks, man. <laughs> uh, so this, this level has 15 bounties in it, and they're kind of just spread all along. It's a pretty long level, but at least we're not running through a factory that's just a bunch of rooms. But yeah, I like this level so far. There's some new enemies, which is nice. And you know, I'm going to tell you something. If you don't get tired of this level, of this, like, scenery by the very end, that's good, because we don't have to see it again. Oh, cool. Chapters cool. two and two, chapters two and three, or levels two and three in this chapter actually look completely different. That is wow. way cool. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Sneaky. Oh, so the little box-type things that I'm having trouble getting out of there, but the little box-type things are just sniper ammo. Um, I think I have some fun with the sniper rifle soon. Things are looking up for Django. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, one thing you're going to notice is that you can use the sniper rifle in close combat. And since, of course, you have automatic lock-on, <laughs> you can just fire a sniper rifle at people from point blank. The only thing is it's not quite as good as the death darts. Oh, fuck, Doug. And I think he has grenades. And oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow. That was terrifying. Yeah, so this this is why you don't fuck with Nexus. Nowhere. The thing is, you can have trouble getting up, like getting up after they attack you, and so they'll just take over all their health if you knock them out once. So let's just fuck this. We're gonna blow them up with a rocket. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh God! It rocket jumped. <laughs> <laughs> this next one has pro strats. Look at how bone. Look at how little damage that does. Jesus. These things, oh. ow, have a fuck ton of health. They can kill you with pretty much one shot. They're just dicks, but they only appear in this level. Well, I like that. Area-specific enemies. Exactly. And grands, too. But they're boring. But damn, those fuckers but are yeah, ubiquitous. It's, it's <laughs> Grand, grands are everywhere. They're probably one of the most populous species in the Star Wars universe. Most Nexus have caves where you can grab more supplies, so well, that's, 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 that's always good. It kind of makes sense. You can only hold like, 15 uh, sniper ammo. It, how does that make sense? Well, because they, like, <laughs> drag the people they, ki they kill back there to eat them, and then they drop their stuff. I guess uh, so. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it makes some <laughs> no, sort yeah, of internal logic kind of but thing. Yeah, makes, Oh, totally hey, look, sense. another Nexu. It doesn't Except have a this Nexu, um, is kind of scaring me. He's an innocent. Did I get him? No, he's just staring at me again. He's toying with you. It's like he knows you're there. <laughs> he he knows I'm there because I've been shooting him with death darts and nothing's happening. It's like never mind. No, it's it's like what? No. I want to hear. Never mind. I want to hear. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. I don't believe you. <laughs> Look at this. He's he's not dying, and I have no idea why. So I guess I'm just gonna have to brave going closer to him. Maybe this game glitches out in such random ways. I was thinking maybe like they have like infinite health until you get close enough. Like I, I don't, don't think so. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I sniped him close. from that kind of distance, but I don't know. I don't know. It's probably something. Ow! Stupid. No! You fool! This was not a good idea. <laughs> it was a great idea. He has death darts in here. Oh, okay. Whew! Then how would he lose? So yeah, you're you're pretty much always better off just using a death dart on them as previous examples have shown. Sniper rifle. There's one thing, they did program headshots into this game. You'll do more damage if you hit them on the head. Hmm. Fairly rudimentary, I think the first Doom had that. Did it? Yeah, exactly, but hey, you know? But hell, it's a step in the right direction, I like it. Exactly. Another effective thermal detonator. This is a step in the right direction. We're, we're halfway through this game, too. We're just making progress. Whee. I bet Django doesn't have as many bananas as me. I gotta say, this uh, this level definitely does feel like more than just room, bunch of enemies, room, bunch of enemies, like most yeah, of the last like chapter. Yeah, it seems a little more designed. I mean, it's still, it still is that, but you're like, you're going through a jungle, you're fighting turrets. They did a better job of fooling you. Well, exactly. There's even a little bit of like almost an exploratory, exploratory aspect going on here because yeah, there's like those, those hidden caches and of ammos. weapons and stuff. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So it rewards you for going off the beaten path that it has an off the beaten path path in general, so... Step up. It's yeah, decidedly good. on LucasArts. Good for them for making a good room. Burn. Oh, Burn man. the door down, even though it's made of metal. <laughs> melt the door. Well, maybe we can melt it. And burn these guys, even though it probably would have been better to shoot them. It's never better to shoot than burn. It's not as fun. That's a good point. Oh great, now they have tree houses. Jeez, these guys just have... If it weren't for those damn Nexus, they'd probably be having a good time. <laughs> well, well, that's probably why they built the tree houses. There's a Nexu in this area. Having a little trouble headbutting through that. By the way, there are lots of little mini transitions in here that I use to cut the time at, to cut the time down just a little bit. I'm sure you'll all thank me. I'm thanking you. Thank you. 
Our, our next bounty is hiding in a little cave over here. Seed my cheese. Apparently grand naming structure is like English word and then like alien name. Something that sounds like a word? Seed my is a word. Well, no, but I mean my cheese like doesn't... Like, it's not a word, but it sounds like it could be. It's, it's like maybe. I don't know. Um, up there we have Brian Isley. Although I, I think it might actually be Brian Isley. I, I don't know. Fuck this game. And he's kind of just staring there. He was having a conversation. <laughs> one of the guys up in the tree. He was having a conversation after I gunned down one of his friends. Well, that's why he was staring. It's like, uh, dude, what happened to you? And then you murdered him. Whoa, you just got marked. Oh, shit, man. Speaking of marked bounties, let's go up and get him. Oh, no, no, never mind. He fell off. <laughs> get over here, Brian Eyes. He's trying to trick you. <laughs> it worked. Brian Eyes would be gross. Brian A bunch of Brian in your That eyes. would kind of suck. Hey, you. Oh, fuck. All right, let this be marked as the first time in the LP that a thermal detonator did the job better than a rocket. <laughs> I, I'm not sure I can handle that. Also, I can't walk up there. So I have no idea why. Sometimes you get stuck on those stairs. But I make up for it for that sweet roll shot. Close range sniping. Django specialty. Exactly. It's not actually his real specialty. His real specialty is killing things. I was going to say, like, I think, I think his specialty is anything that involves well, a gun. It's a form of killing things. Exactly. Also, if we fly up here and then fly up over to that little cave spot over there, we find the level secret. Oh! It's fairly well hidden, to be honest. This uh, planet reminds me a little bit of uh, the Wookiee homeworld, Kashyyyk, I think. Yeah, from... Yeah, they, they have a lot of those, too, except they're more, like, connected and shit. Don't, don't, why do I know that? Oh god, Nexu and Mooks. Oh god, it knows where I am. But it can't get in this room. Oh wait, no, it can. <laughs> These things, they're learning. <laughs> now, I'm not sure, but I think that might be the last one we come in direct contact with. You're saying that just so the next one will surprise us even more. <laughs> Maybe. No. But they're, they're around long enough, like, enough to be scary each time you see them without becoming a nuisance. Also, I want to take care of that guy because he has a rocket launcher and... Oh, hey, thanks for pushing him out, dude. What <laughs> <laughs> asshole! He, he, I couldn't really hit him behind the uh, thing, but then his friend helped me out there. I got by with a little help from his friend. <laughs> sniper to the face. But yeah, as you can see, sometimes when I shoot him with the sniper rifle, it leaves him with almost no health, and other times it just kills him outright. I think that's because I get a headshot with the auto lock, sometimes. It's a little finicky. Shit's weird. Jaw knee. It's two words. He has jaws in his knees. It, it almost feels like Johnny, which seems like a word, but I don't think it is. John T. Rice. He's an eldritch abomination with mouths on his kneecaps. Yes. When he kicks you, he bites you as well. This is a terrifying place, man. Also, I take this guy's turret. Let's see if I can do anything. No. No, I can't. They have aimbot hacks. There was a time when I was doing the test run for this where I actually died while on the turret. <laughs> it's just not a good idea when you're being shot at with all those lasers to try to try to kill them with something like that. You'd think it would be. Oh god, thermal detonator. Well, despite all the progress you've made, there's still thermal detonators. <laughs> still can't be perfect. At the end of the day, you still need to be careful. All right, and right now I'm just getting rid of all of my excess ammo because we fall down this, and now we're at the halfway point. This is just like that time way back in Entertainment District where you get to a certain point in the level and um, you, can, you get all of your continues back, all of your ammo resets, and if you reset the level, you start back here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's sort of like a perma checkpoint? Uh, I think if you quit, like, the game, turn it off, and come back, you'll have to restart the level. But other than that, you're through. You even keep all your bounties. 
Very nice. Yep. Getting better all the time. One of these games that sort There's of our next bounty. picks up after the first few missions. <laughs> tough, tough love, you know. They start you off with kind of cool, then it hits a lull, and then it gets a little better. Oh Whoa, God, what the fuck was that? Is that? Eh, it doesn't matter. There's another tiger. Oh, that bridge is gone. And grenades. <laughs> he just, they just. I love the way when you hit him with a sniper rifle, they just sort of flinch. There is actually a Nexo at the bottom of this pit. It's not a death pit, but it might as well be because there's a Nexo at the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah, that's that sounds like a death pit to me. These things are fine. Nico, that's almost like a real name. My real name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, you can jump on the torches. I have no idea why. Django does not mind fire. No, he doesn't yeah, purpose, exactly. so he lights his feet on fire, and then he kicks the shit out of him. <laughs> Blazing kick! We also see the return- we also see the return of the, uh, cuttable grates. Even in the jungle, there is no respite. Of course not. Though isn't the word respite. Shut up. I That's how I was good. always taught to say it. That was respite. <laughs> Oh god, it's, it's spelled that way, but I don't think and it's he's on fire. Way. Oh yeah, also Doug it. stock drop stop drop and roll. <laughs> just thought you should know that. That is just such an obnoxious design. <laughs> what? Oh hey guys. The, the Doug design. I, I didn't get a good look at him. Well, that that's straight from Lucas. Straight out of Lucas. There's another bounty over here somewhere. In that little house. It's, it's a very nice house, but who really thought that they should build a house in a cave and put turrets on top of it? Well, they wanted to be like Little House on the Prairie, but there aren't any prairies in the jungle, so they chose a cave. <laughs> little House in the Jungle Cave. Maybe the tigers stay away from the caves. That's true. Fucking Nexu. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call it that, man. Yeah, it's better that way. Partly because I can't remember it. <laughs> and partly out of principle. Whoops. Ouch. Looks like he's tripped. But you know, that that's our first continue on this side. We're still in good shape. Yeah, exactly. I have, so far in my recording, not had to re-record anything because I lost all of my continues. I'm very proud of myself for that. And now you've jinxed it. Well, yeah, there's, there's well, still the rest of the game to record, but still. I think that it's kind of an inevitability because this <laughs> game isn't easy. From what I've seen. That's true, and it de it's, it definitely gets harder by the end. I mean, it's not too hard to just gun your way through the entire thing, but if you want to get all of the bounties, if you want to get all the bounties in a level, you got to put yourself in some really bad situations. So was Django just talking to himself there? There are three bounties in this room, and there's also infinitely spawning grands on the floor, so that's why we're just going to stay the fuck up here. Wow. What an asshole. Like what a collective asshole! <laughs> the over asshole. Lucas Arts is an asshole. Oh, so is that a Doug right there that you shot? Yes, that was a Doug. Yeah, they, they do. They are often hiding in little bunkers because they're snipers. They do look kind of. And they also have grenades. And some of them hold two pistols and just shoot them at you like rapid fire. Cramp in your style. Don't worry. Next level, we we are gonna get a f we are gonna get our fill of Dougs next level. Also. I decide to snipe this guy. Give him a taste of his own medicine. I don't really think that counts as a snipe. <laughs> he wasn't moving, I wasn't, I was locked onto him. But you know, it's the thought that counts. And I thought about sniping him. <laughs> Call that sniping! <laughs> That's how I snipe in TF2 as it well. It actually fits his accent too. <laughs> what are you doing? I... Don't know how he ended up on the edge of the roof there, but I just shot him to death so that he wouldn't fall down and I'd have to deal with the infinite grands. Oh wait, never mind, I fall down anyway. <laughs> oh well. But there's there's some goodies down here, so it's not too bad. That always throws me off. Yeah! <laughs> it's like the music just cuts out and like there's like a delay between it coming out. Oh, there's an invincibility in there, oh god. Um I got them. <laughs> Sorry. 
Um, you you could do like Canby will deploy a mountain of troops. I mean, yes. it's not exactly. In Canby will deploy a mountain of troops. <laughs> oh. Perfect. <laughs> I haven't thought about like in years. <laughs> kind of felt like it was invincibility. Have a grenade. Well, you know, samurai spirit when you're on a city is literal invincibility. It you might cannot as well. be hurt. It's like exactly. Oh, where did that bounty go? It must have fallen in a hole. I think it's the closest you get to actual invincibility. Yeah, exactly. Although, there is Javier with all those towers. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, we're about to do something for the first time. See this grate? Yes. We're supposed to go through this grate from the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What is going on? <laughs> When you go through a grate from the wrong direction, it kicks out to the way it was supposed to anyway, and then you do the animation the, a second time. I have no idea why. Django just can't handle the fact that his sequence broke. Yeah, no sequence breaking here. And you know, there, there's no reason for that to have happened. They could have just not put that hole on the roof we fell through, but they just didn't think about for it. For some like... reason, they insisted on having. Yeah, exactly. They just didn't think of it, which is amazing, because how the fuck would you not think of that? But, ah, LucasArts. This one kicks in the right way, at least. Aw. I kind of like it the other way. Hi, Doug. We are nearing the end of the level. Oh. Yep. Cut out a quick check to uh, see that, make sure that we had all of the bounties up to this point. There are only two more left, and they're both kind of annoying. One of them, you're just being shot at by a turret, and god, turrets will fuck you up. Oh, so Sabolto's a Doug. I hate him already. Yes, Sabolto is a Doug. Sabolto! I think he might be related to Sabolba, but I'm not sure. I hope not. I really hope not. I think that's racist. <laughs> well, they are vaguely Chinese. Are they? Yeah, the Dugs. They have, like, Fu Man shoes and talk in this weird accent. Yeah. Well, Fu Manchus are pretty cool. <laughs> well, they have like alien Fu Manchus. You can't really tell if it's a beard or if it's just like part of their face. That's even cooler then. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Fu Man, awesome. Here's our next guy who apparently doesn't smell very good. <laughs> you are not doing it. Yeah, we're, we're, set, we're setting back on the puns, but you know, we're almost done with the level. All in all, I feel like we had a decent amount of talk about this time, so I won't be thanking our viewers for staying with us. You know, I just do that because it's good manners. Jeez. Eh, that's true. Yeah. Alright, so there's one more bounty, and he's out on those cliffs over there. He's kind of annoying, but I think we can ha- uh... Ah, never, never mind. Yeah, We're not getting him. Commit suicide. <laughs> he could no longer bear life as an onion. Th there was no way I was redoing this level to get him. Sorry, guys. But... Eh. <laughs> It's really annoying when you have enemies on the sides of cliffs because there's they didn't write anything in the AI to stop them from not killing themselves so or to run. stop them from killing themselves. They just run right for you. Yeah, exactly. Well, they'll run either for you, away from you, or just around in a circle. Anyway, we're gonna snipe out some of these enemies over here while we're on this skiff. These things are called skiffs, by the way. I know that because I am an EU expert. Well, it's not even EU. Uh, there's like. Are you? Are you really? Well, they were in the movies, but I don't think they were ever called that. Well, no, I just mean... They were, like... Ow. Jabba's Desert Skiff. Okay, no, see, he's the expert. No, I, I'm not! I just know this stuff! <laughs> and that makes you an expert. Uh, but I don't go out of my way to know it! That makes it worse. <laughs> nah, I don't know. If he, if he went and, like, just read Wikipedia all the time, that would probably be worse. Anyway, yes. one last thing to do on this level. Okay, I do that, but not for Star Wars. <laughs> and this is the reason we brought the sniper rifle along, canonically. We're over on this end of the cliff, and over on that side is Sabalto's compound, where our good friend Zam is sneaking over to get us a ride. We have to protect her because all her weapons got taken away. And we could just shut up, woman. We can just give her some. Well, no, it was it was actually in the opening cutscene how she had her weapons taken away. Like we pay attention to and that. And Django planned for that. 
Yeah, exactly. Given enough time, Django could plan to defeat anyone. That had to hurt. That is true. And by given enough time, and by plan, I mean give him enough guns. You know, Zam, the dogs already know you're here. You might as well just start running. I can kill them anyway. Seriously, she's sneaking around after she's been shot at by like three or four dogs. She is one with the shadows. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wait, there's one over there. I need your help here. Shut up. I'm killing them. God, look at them walk! It's just these, it's just dual analog sniping. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Or dual joystick sniping. I'm so sorry. Just, uh, just think of them as banana balloons. I need your help so you can here. show me up. <laughs> there we go. Although actually, this isn't even that because when you snipe, you can't actually move unless you're hitting a certain button. Whatever. Anyway, that was that. Kind of slow, but they don't make you do it for too long. So better than Donkey Kong 64. Woo! Look at him carry that sniper rifle like a badass. And that's the level. So what did we just accomplish? Well, see, Django wanted to sneak into the compound from, like, the jungle so that he could bring in weapons and then kill the shit out of the Sabolto dude. And Zam had to help him in from the other side because he couldn't fly over there. But why did he want to kill Sabolto? Ah, see, this is plot from way back where we're fighting... We're trying to get Sabalto because he might have a lead on the Bando Gora, which has the bounty that we're trying to get to become the clones that we don't really know that yet. But anyway, yeah. But, 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 but. This isn't convoluted at all. We, we can't kill Sabalto or we'll have no lead. Well, we, we just have to get information yeah, out of him. We get it out of him, then we kill I him. Think. Oh. It's crazy. Yeah, exactly. I'm not, I'm not actually. Well, yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it at that. You don't want to spoil it. Oh. Anyway, the music is uh, starting to swell, so it seems that we're about to take our leave. Fucking music. Every goddamn Hope you enjoyed it. Game. We won't have to go through any more jungles. I know, it's shocking.